That's a, and that's an L.A. look, too, isn't it? It's very L.A. look. There's so many looks in L.A. I always go for, on the, on the talk shows, you go for the black. You look all slim and sexy. Yeah, you look, you always look, you look really, really good. You always dress well. Thank you. I'm a little uncomfortable at the moment, though. How come? I, I, um, I shaved in the wrong direction. No. <laughs> I may shift a, a bit. Oh, <clears throat> at, where are you talking about that you are uncomfortable sitting? I can't say on I, TV. I, I... Was that on camera? Yeah. Now, do you know the right direction? Is it supposed to be with the grain? A, a way, is it I grain? learned this recently, because I was always breaking out. I learned this from Sonia Dakar. I just mentioned her name, so you've got to give me free products. Um, you, yeah, you've got to go, you go with. You can't go against. With. So my face grows in every direction, so me shaving is like this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that but is hard. Well, you always look good. Thank you very much. All right, so, um, well, first of all, um, thank you for being on my show. I was on your show. Yes, you were. Yes. And I that was great. I, I have to tell this, I warned her early on, when we have the big guest uh, names come on, the audience goes nuts, because they don't know who's going to be on, so they walk, make their entrance, people go insane. And I warned you, I said, they're going to go insane. Uh, forgetting, of course, that she was a nun on the show, so she's... <laughs> you're, you're like this, you look like you were playing an egg in yeah. a commercial. And, and you walk on, and nothing. It's crickets, <laughs> there's nothing. And I remember you kind of looked at me in character like, is this the big reception you were talking about, Jackass? <laughs> It was really, because forever, no, and they finally, they weren't even paying attention to the scene. Fine, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, was like, I was just, yeah. I think it was like eight or nine lines in, some woman went, <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so you're meeting so many cool people. Did Barry Manilow was just on the show yesterday? Barry Manilow was on the show yesterday. And how and was that? Uh, it was very, I mean, you know, as he's, Barry Manilow was, is a guilty pleasure. You know, mm -hmm. particularly as a guy, you can't, you can't admit to, but I do, I admit, I'm, I'm a, I'm a fan of And, and, uh, <laughs> And I was very excited to have him on. And we sing in this scene. We actually mm -hmm. sing American Bandstand together. And he was so excited because he loves the show and he was nervous. And, and we, the director yelled, action. And Barry turned to me and went, D do you want to start? <laughs> do I want to start? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I got to establish the key. It was very hot. Really? Very and what key did you do it in? <clears throat> I think it was an A minor. <laughs> I, think, I think it went A minor. Uh -huh. It's a safe key. Yeah. <laughs> You and Barry Manilow singing, that must yeah. have been fun. Listen, you'd have been, uh, you'd have been hot. You'd have, yeah. been, uh, you'd yeah. have been sweating. It yeah. was good. Uh, <laughs> it, was really, it was really good. No, you're, uh, good because you're, you're meeting all these people. You're on the cover of uh, Vanity Fair. Look at you all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You're doing very, very well, aren't you? It's like, hey, Vanity Fair, it's pretty exciting. And I love, mm -hmm. look, at, look at the size of this magazine. Yeah. If you look at the, oh, watch. Ow! Oh. See, but that's, this is a very, very that's, heavy magazine. It's one of the largest magazines that big. they make. It's big. Yeah. Now, because of all this, are you noticing people uh, reacting to you differently as far as, especially being on TV? I, I think people are... Well, I think there's a big difference between, between TV and, and film, I mean, because you're, you're so familiar. On TV. I mean, I had this conversation with Mike Myers, and he said when he was on Saturday Night Live, people would touch him. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's Wayne! Mm -hmm. You know, and now, well, now movies. Oh, no, it's, that's Mike Myers. Whereas, you know, for me, it's people are always, it's Will, and they're smacking me and trying to set me up with their brothers. And... <laughs> but there's, there's such a familiarity. My favorite, this, this actually happened like three weeks ago. A woman came up to me in the supermarket and said, Oh, I, I love you guys. I, I always watch you guys. I, I'm going to watch you tonight. I said, well, that's, that's great. James Earl Jones is on tonight. And she said, oh, how undignified for him. What is that? In the produce aisle, she said. Uh, I said, well, what, what, what? I thought you said you liked us. And she said, well, but James Earl Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that they really do feel like they're going to share, you know. Well, look, they'll try to change the way you dress, too. Well, I think it's a difference between knowing who you are. Like, movie stars, they know your name. Yeah. TV stars, they know your character's name. Right. You know, I, I was uh, in Vegas. I, I had reservations at a restaurant, and I went up, and I said hi. And the girl looked up for the, the hostess and freaked. She said, my boyfriend and I have seen every episode. We've never missed one. We watch every rerun. We have seen it every single time it's ever aired. We've seen it. I love it. I said, she said, can I have an autograph? I said, well, actually, we're eating in a restaurant tonight. She said, you're in here? Name? <laughs> I do not make that up. That's hilarious. We'll be right back with more Eric McCormack right after this. We're back with Eric McCormack from Will and & Grace, and it's McCormack. 
I stress it only so that people spell it right, but if you said McCormick, I'd answer. I've, I've called you McCormick before. If you said Will, I'd probably answer. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd answer to Jack, so yeah. really, just, just call me something. <laughs> Now, um, tell us about, because we're all wondering what's going on with Deborah Messing is, is pregnant in real life. And, uh, and is she going to be pregnant on the show, or how is that going to work? Uh, no, she's just really going to be fat. <laughs> um, no, we're not going to write it in. We're just going to put her in, in moo-moos, and she'll always be speaking from, you know, from behind the fridge. Uh-huh. And, uh, and things like that. Yeah, because we already explored the sort of will, will and Grace get pregnant together thing. Right. So to go back to that well seems... Seems a little odd, but uh, it'll be fun to disguise it. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, she'll be carrying big hats with her a lot. Yeah. Because y'all are very creative about stuff like that, so I'm sure that that's sort of challenging for the writers to do. And She'll be falling down less, Yeah, I think. right. <laughs> but then again, a lot of the time, Grace just sits on the couch and eats, so uh -huh. it's not that much yeah. of a relief. Right. You know, it's, not, it's not a really big deal. So you could just have her sitting behind the couch instead. Right, she's constantly, she's constantly vacuuming. Looking for something. Yeah. I can't find that thing, and it's just above the, the sofa. Nine episodes, I still can't find the contact lens. Right. <laughs> And you, you were just saying during the commercial break that uh, you're enjoying uh, the dad thing. You have a baby. I'm loving the dad thing. Our, my, our son is uh, 16 months. 16 months. Uh, and um, he's, uh, every day is something new. You know, he just recently discovered the penis. Uh -huh. um, his own, not anybody yeah. else's. And, uh, <laughs> It's amazing, because, you know, he'll, he sits there naked on the bathroom floor and, you know, plays with himself. And you, uh -huh. it's just, you think, my God, they really do watch everything you do. And... <laughs> so you, gotta, you really gotta be careful. <laughs> you know? and, and, and then just, yes, just yesterday, uh, this is true, he, he, was in the, uh, he was in the park and for the first time grabbed a little girl, like a year older than him, hugged her and gave her a big kiss on the lips. Really? Which is, a, you know, a big step. Because, like, last week he was into eating dog food. And I just, uh -huh. I feel like as a father, I have to, you know, I have to share wisdom. And I want to say, listen, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to eat dog food, uh, wait till after you've kissed the girl. I think yeah, that's, right. that's, a, that's a good life Well, at least there's a, a week boy. in between the yeah. dog food and the kiss. Yeah, but he, he's still learning about the brushing of the teeth. So it might have been a bad kiss. Yeah. <laughs> now, he, what do you mean he's, does he get down on the ground and eat it from the bowl? Yeah. I, I, he really does. He, one day we saw him, he went over to the dog's bowl and he did this. <laughs> and just spread and ate. That was pretty impressive, and now you have fuzz all over <laughs> <your> <laughs> <head>. <laughs> Oh, just from falling down on the thing. Oh, well, that's... I had this image of him now that he's got all these various things going on, of him going up to a girl in the park and going, You're cute, you want to, uh, I got a can of Alpo if you want to. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Well, it's, it's better than the first thing you mentioned. So, yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> you mix all three and you yeah, get yourself yeah. a weekend, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell got, you that. You're going to be in trouble with that kid, I think. I think yeah. so. And his name is what? Finnegan. Finnegan. And it's, it, isn't that adorable? It's named after a sock puppet. Um, <laughs> it, this is the sock puppet in Canada, right? <laughs> and you named your son after a sock puppet. Yes, after Finnegan. It was either that or Kukla. So uh -huh. we, 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 yeah. wanted, we wanted to go for a, we definitely wanted a sock puppet. Well, we he finished. lucked out with Finnegan. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was Mr. Dressup. This is like a All huge right. influence on me. Mr. Dressup right. was like the, uh, the Mr. Rogers of Canada. And, oh. uh, and uh, big, big, he, had, he had something called the tickle trunk, out of which he pulled uh, costumes. And, and I have one to this day. Oh. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. All right, well, um, well, thanks for being here. And thanks for sharing your, your stories of what your son does, which... Uh, <laughs> Thanks for having a great show. I was telling you, uh, my mother loves this show. It's, uh, it's such a, a great thing, and you're so relaxed and entertaining. Isn't she fantastic? Thank you. <laughs> this guy right there. Um, and <laughs> next time, come back and sing for us, because you had such great reviews in Music Man on Broadway. I'd be and happy to. Please come back and sing, and All come right. back anytime. All right. I'll All be right. back tomorrow. Eric McCormick, thanks. Will <laughs> uh, really and Grace Thursdays at 9 o'clock on NBC. We'll be right back with my bachelor, Jack. Yeah.